Wait, he did say please. How the fuck did we talk? Did we talk? Oh, what's up, people? Welcome back to Freaky Nap Live. My name is Dinesh. Today, we are watching back again South Park. It's the 11th episode of fourth season. It's called Fourth Grade. I remember when I was in fourth grade, I recently switched schools from Beltal Public School. I went to St. Joseph Public School. And it was our first day. Me and my cousin, we were sitting together. He saw something outside, out, out the window. He, he called me and asked me to look outside. And I kid you not, I see a plane, an Air Force plane just crashing down and all, all of a sudden you kind of hear like a blast the power all of the power went out of the school at that time nobody else saw it so everybody was shocked to see what, what just happened like the power went out we went home our parents were kind of scared <laughs> Kinda, I would say, because uh, they didn't came to school to check us out if we are okay. Because the news that they were watching, it was showing that the plane crashed near St. Joseph Public School. It was not near us. It was like a five kilometer range between us. Also, there was no casualties. Nobody else, nobody died. Even the pilot was safe. So everybody was okay. So we can talk about it now. So yeah, that was my first day of fourth grade. It was amazing. I saw a plane crash. How was your first day of fourth grade? <laughs> Match up with that. Also, you guys must know now that I live nearby Air Force Base, so yeah. Alrighty, let's jump into this episode. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch the full length reaction videos, please check out my Patreon. You can help support the channel and watch the uncut and edited and and watch the uncut and edited future videos already out over there. So without any further ado, let's jump into this. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Go. Oh, what? 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 What just happened? What just happened? Okay, I'm. Need to go back. Okay, there was a sudden change in music. Hmm. What is this? That definition going down the south by gonna leave my horse behind. No, it's a new intro. People's party. How did it ever? What the fuck was it? <laughs> Let's go. I already told you the story of my my first grade. Get my way, you I already told you guys my story of okay, first day of fourth grade, and now they got it pushed out around by fifth graders, I guess. Hey, we're fourth graders now too. Yeah, but now we're fifth graders, you stupid fourth graders. So move it. <laughs> okay, dude. Dude, we gotta find some third graders to beat up. Hey, come here. What? What grade are you going into? Third. Stupid third grader. Get out of here. <laughs> Some new lady from Denver. Denver? Okay. <laughs> we could walk all over her. He's right. We have to take a hard stance what right now mean? and establish that we're the dominant ones in this relationship. All right. No, there's no relationship. We need to stand up to this new team. Oh, TV team. also in fourth grade now. Okay. How about right at 835, we all jump up on our desk, pull down our pants, and shout, kiss my ass all together. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> well, but when we pull our pants down, should we stand front ways or back? Backwards, backwards. Are they hinds or our wieners? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we could stand like this, but with our wieners poking through the back of our legs, you know? Give her a nice fruit bowl. Nope, no, 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 no. Duh. No, butters. Or we could just show our asses. Yep. Okay, so it's decided. <laughs> when the clock hits 8.35, we all stand up on our desk, pull down our pants, and yell, kiss my ass. Hey, Timmy might need some help pulling his pants down. Yep. We got you covered, Timmy. How? Sometime! <laughs> it was gonna pull Timmy pants. This is our new classroom? Yeah. Look at all this stuff. Hey, what the hell's with these little half desks? <laughs> <laughs> all right, children, quiet down. Well okay. <laughs> you you need some bra. I don't know what to say. Please get a bra or something. Fourth grade. Dude. I know. Is <laughs> Miss chokes on dick. I need some water. Her name is Miss chokes on dick. Okay, let's go. Miss chokes on dicks with saggy titties. <laughs> Time is over, children. Uh. Do you understand me? I don't know how your last teacher behaved, but this is the fourth grade, and uh. it is time to go to work. <laughs> he. Oh shit! Only Godman. Oh fucking oh, hell! Please, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, young man, I hope you have a good explanation for this. Oh, I'm sure I do. <laughs> this is the fourth grade. You need to grow up. I'm trying. <laughs> Pull your pants back up. First day exam. Ah, what? Silence. Oh shit, the boobs kind of stretching. Okay. The eye? You can't even tell who she's looking at. You guys are all such pussies. <laughs> yep. I can't take it, man. I'm in cursive. Fractions? I can't do it. 
This is it. The end of innocence. Uh -huh. This is the loss of that playful youth all our parents warned us about. <laughs> we just didn't think... Not today, no. Not not this time. Realize how much we all took to third grade for granted. Huh? Everything was great in third grade. And now that it's all over... Mr. Gangson was there. How special it was. Yep. Remember how it used to be in the third grade? We used to laugh and play and cherish each day in the third grade. We learned wondrous things from our... Yeah, Mr. Gangson! But for years... There's not a thing in this life <laughs> that I wouldn't trade just to go back for Okay, now, nah, Mr. Gangster, now. Nah. No, 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 no. Nah. <laughs> Everybody start <Nah>. crying. <laughs> we gotta go back to third grade. How? We travel back in time. But who built the time machine? Or what about those two college guys next door to me? They're always doing science experiments. In oh, I thought they are gonna go to that guy who created asses. When it comes to time travel theory, there are basically two schools of thought. Yeah, the Spock is theory is that a slingshot around the sun could create a wormhole in which time could not escape. Mm -hmm. The Lieutenant Commander Data theory, however, is that a magnetic vibration could create a rip in the time-space continuum. Look, whatever it takes, we just have to get back to third <laughs> Travel is no laughing matter. Four times the Enterprise traveled back in time, and four times they almost didn't make it back. We don't Wait, he's talking about Star Trek? i never seen Star Trek, dude, so I don't know. We just need to find an inertia device. How do you find an inertia device? His electric wheelchair might be just what we need. Jesus, no, Timmy! No, Timmy's wheelchair! What's the problem? Uh, you see, Chef, Miss Choke's own dick has very large, <laughs> uh, honk, <laughs> and she doesn't seem to like wearing a bra. Yeah, exactly! That sounds like heaven to me. Uh-uh, no, Chef, no. Principal Victoria, I would like a word. Ooh, call <laughs> My new students are the most misbehaved, illiterate, brain-dead group of children I have ever come across. Okay, you, you're fired. Oksan, Dick, those children did fairly well in the third grade. One of them is mentally handicapped, for Christ's sake! Oh, which one? The, the one, one in the wheelchair! <laughs> the teacher, who was it, Mr. Uh, Garrison? Garrison? Yep. I'm afraid that's impossible. Nobody's seen Mr. Garrison since the last school. Where is he now? Where did he go? We don't like to talk about it. He started writing books. These kids, I have nothing but the highest expectations for them. And with God as my witness, oh. I'm going to teach these kids the wonders of the world so that they can reach the top. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Chill. Chill, Miss Chokes on Dick. That, I will bid you good day. Oh, sure thing. Fine. Bye-bye then. Okay, at least they didn't... <laughs> She didn't show it at the end. All right, when we power up the handicapped kid's chair, it will accelerate at a high rate of speed about 10 feet that way. <laughs> you guys don't actually think this is going to work, do you? It will, because we, we are in South Park. You guys are going to have about 4.2 seconds to run through it. And on the other side, you will find yourself in the exact same spot only one year ago. Mm. Back in the third grade. What about the past self of yours? Teacher yells at us this time, and we all tell her to suck our balls. Yeah! yeah. Oh, here she comes. All right, children, I hope you all did your homework last night. Please pass your papers up to the front. Suck my bones! Why all this cut, oh, man? <laughs> papers to the front. We didn't do front. our homework, Miss Makes Me Sick. We didn't feel like it. It's Miss jokes, jokes on dick. dick. Jokes on dick. Gentlemen? Primary fusion initiated. Molecular chronotine active. Uh -huh. Sure, all the scientific words. Going back in time to the third grade. Goodbye. Only Tim is, I guess. Do it another year. <laughs> Ta -da! What the? Ta -da! <laughs> Where did he go? Only Timmy went to third grade. Maybe not. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> well, well, well. I'd say somebody has some explaining to do. Where's Timmy? Go get Timmy. It's packed with all that stuff. We gotta help him. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Children, children, come back here! Fuck you, Miss Chalk someday. <laughs> Timmy, you have to stop! No! No? Look, the system malfunctioned. If he stops, the nuclear core could break its magnetic field and the whole chair will blow sky high! What? What? So if Timmy drops his speed below five miles an hour, the chair blows, and if he gets off, the chair blows? Mm, yep. yep. Speed. My god. It's been over three hours since the police first showed up on the scene of a handicapped boy's wheelchair set. <laughs> the SWAT team will now attempt to disarm the device. Good luck, Timmy. <laughs> oh shit! Why is why are you asking for a ride, bitch? Fuck off. Okay. Dear Jesus, hang on, lady. <laughs> Be very careful. That wheelchair is set to explode. What? It's okay! Just stay calm and keep the speed above five! Huh? Huh? Oh my god! How are you gonna do that? I got the speed at five! Good! <laughs> What's the wheelchair's battery power at? Oh my god! 
19 minutes? Okay. Oh, wow! Good! Yeah! I have had it! These children are out of control! I must speak with their last year's teacher, Mr. Garrison! No, you should not. No. Where is he, though? What did God's name happen to him? Uh, Ms. Chokes on Dick. Mr. Garrison had several, uh, emotional issues. Mm -hmm. He was a closet homosexual who hated gay people. Whenever someone asked him if he was gay, he'd go nuts. Yeah. Then he was accused of trying to solicit sex from a young boy. Yeah. After being dismissed from teaching. He started writing. At romance novels. Yeah. His first novel sold very well and everything was fun until he uh. found out that his novel won the gay Pulitzer Prize and was considered the best homoerotic novel since Huckleberry Finn. Oh. Uh. He finally snapped and had a nervous breakdown and went up into the mountains to live in solitude. Oh, okay. And nobody has found him? <laughs> well, we haven't really <laughs> Fusion oh, core with a Baltic reactor just turned into a time bomb. This is <laughs> 72 original Star Trek episode. Yep. Yeah. yeah talking about Star Wait. Trek. You mean 73 episodes? No, there were 72. No. Okay, now I fight. Such a nerd. <laughs> there you go. Now the rescuers are going to try and send in one of the handicapped boy's little friends. Don't be Kenny. It's going to be Kenny. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. No, it's not. Why send Kenny? I want you to relay back to me with this walkie-talkie, and then I'll tell you which wires to cross. Ready? Woo! Go blue! Go blue! <laughs> <laughs> Well, who didn't see that coming? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we get off the chair, blows up! No, no, that's only if the boy gets off. Ah. Oh, see it! Damn it! Ten seconds, Hanson! Nine, eight, please help me! Six! Wait, he did say please! How the fuck, Timmy Talk! Timmy Talk! He said please help me! Timmy, you just talk! And when it didn't pass. Hey, it did work. <laughs> Only for Timmy, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's some co commitment <laughs> with those boobs. Why are the cats here? Or the cat just want to drink some milk. Is anyone here? Mr. Oh, my God. Mr. Mr. Garrison? What happened to you? Who are you? What do you want? I'm the when Mr. Had has beard. Haven't taught in over eight months. Mr. Garrison, you knew how to reach these kids. Nope. Nope, not right now. I don't know why. Every time I record some FaceTime, even FaceTime, they're FaceTiming me. Nope. I told you guys that at this time I record, I don't pick up calls. Okay. You're my only hope. You're my you only know hope. What it is to be a teacher, Miss. Jokes on Dick. No, I don't. It's a lie. You see? That's what you get for being a teacher. You work and you work for the children and then people start rumors that you're gay even though It's you okay, Mr. Garrison, that you are gay, okay? Poo tag. Mr. Garrison, Poo -tang. children are depending on me to give them a future. I can't do it without your guidance. Please help me yep. for them. Yeah, Timmy's probably back in third grade right now living it up. Timmy, no! No! <laughs> Fuck, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the let's fuck? try it again. Children, we are now going to do math problems. Well, I'm not going to do it, teacher. You can just suck my balls. Don't use don't that kind of language, dead. young man. No. No? Look, you can't counter a profane command with an idle threat. Mm -hmm. You must extinguish it with a vulgar suggestion. <laughs> Al says, suck my balls. You say, present them. Ooh. No, never, that never do that. Never, ever do that. No. Suck my balls. Present them. Good. Very good. Mr. Gaxon, don't present your balls to- nope. But I warn you, we will now be diving deep into your own saggy. These children Nobody's know talking. what scares you, and so we too must face those days. What? Dude, if you guys build another time machine, you can travel back in time and ask the creator of Star Trek how many episodes there were. <laughs> Dear Jesus, you're right. Where, where this is at? it. The Tree of Inside. What you the must fuck go happened in to and face what lives inside. Oh, the lazy guy. What lives inside? Hell. <laughs> it goes up and then comes down. <laughs> Alrighty. Well? Is the Yoda in there? Well, there's nothing in here but an exit to the other side. But I actually thought my mental demons would be in here. <laughs> you are your own mental demon. Maybe I'm supposed to see that I alone do have the strength to reach the kids. There you go, I guess, I yeah. think I get it now. 
Hopefully you can get a bra. Hey, hurry up in there. You're taking too long in the damn tree of insight. <laughs> you in there? I suppose not. Where she went? Where the hell did she go? I know, right? What the? What is on the other side of this tree? What? Oh, hi. Who oh, he got you? You see, his demon. I am you. I am your gay side. Let's go listen to him. I don't have a gay side. You must face me at last. I want you to not fight me anymore. To accept me once and for all. All these years, your pain, your confusion, it comes from one place. Your Dude, you fucked your dad. <laughs> I mean, you thought you fucked your dad. You wanted to fuck your dad, so you can at least admit you're gay. But I'm not gay. Everyone just thinks I am. Oh, stop it. What about the time you looked at Counselor Mackey's penis in the men's locker room? Oh. I was just comparing size. For seven minutes, <laughs> you masturbated to the men's 100 meter swimming relay at the Olympics. Oh. I was beating off to the checks. There were no checks. <laughs> oh, damn you, spirit, haunt me no longer. Admit it. No. Admit it. Stop lying to yourself and get it. All right, all right, I admit it. I'm gay. Yeah, let's go. Gay. I'm gay. Let's go. I am gay. <laughs> I'm gay and it, and it feels good. That, that's nice. All right, children, I hope... <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on now? Haha, <laughs> teacher, we're traveling back There's to There's a duck. There's a fucking duck. Connected to a microwave. I don't think a duck is needed to try and travel. I'm machine built. This one out of a simple microwave oven and a duck. Why is it there's a duck? Teacher, perhaps we shall see you in the past. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen? Children, I will have order. I can't wait for Gene Roddenberry to tell you how wrong you are. The episode called Guns on Ice Planet Zero was a two-parter. No, it wasn't. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. There goes the duck. There it is. Come on, everybody. <laughs> what, are they going to jump in? Eric, I mean it. You can suck my balls. Say it. Present Say it. them. What? You said suck my balls. Well... Go ahead, whip them out, and I'll suck them. Okay, nah, nah, dude. That's what Mr. Garrison would have said. Mm -hmm. Touche, teacher. <laughs> life isn't about going back, it's about going forward. Okay. Yes, there are times in our life... Then why are you living in a past or with no bra past? The adventure of life is that there's always something new. New challenges, new experiences. A fun game is a game that gets harder as it goes. Okay. So it is with life. Do you understand? I think so. She's right. Yeah. And you know, now that I think about it, third grade wasn't all that great either. <laughs> yeah. Carmen, why the hell did you try to make us think third grade was so great? Yeah, you he, suck, Carmen. Because he's saying a song about all it. All right, students, that will be quite enough. If you're ready, let's continue on with the fourth grade. Timmy! Okay, he's a pirate. Timmy's back. Dude, it looks like he's been all over time. Huh. He must have such cool stuff to tell us. Uh, is that a robo arm? Guess what, everybody? I'm gay! Everybody knows. Garrison? What? I'm as gay as a <laughs> gymnast on shore leave. You admit it? Yep. You admit it! Oh, that's great, Mr. Garrison. You've finally come to terms with yourself. Yeah. yeah. It feels really good. Well, congratulations. Yeah, con I'm happy for him, yeah. <laughs> if it's all right with you, I'd like to go back to teaching the third grade. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't hire gay people. <laughs> Did she just say that? Okay, okay. She was happy that Mr. Gagson came out and everybody knows that he's gay. But, god damn, they don't hire gay people. Okay. Alrighty guys, that was this episode of 4th grade. They they moved to 4th grade. That was their story. They wanted to go back in past. Timmy did. And he went to the dinosaur time. Became a pirate, had a robo arm and still survived. He, he survived. Even on a wheelchair, he did. Timmy, let's go. Finally, Mr. Garrison came to his town that he's gay. And I'm really happy that he came out. And... He don't have to like hide it and be angry or, or mad whenever say somebody else say that he is gay. But that new teacher do need to wear a bra. Maybe in the next episode she will. And it should be compulsory in school to wear to teachers to should wear bras. Alrighty, nobody wanna see that sort of thing hanging, dangling, and cats trying to drink drink the milk out of him. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. -bye.